Last week, landmarks in cities across the nation began to honor and support healthcare workers and first responders during the coronavirus pandemic. Scenes from cities across the nation who have lit up in blue include Madison Square Garden in New York City, Universal Studios in California, The Space Needle in Seattle, and including our very own Indianapolis. These cities and more have been illuminated in tribute to those who are fighting the pandemic. During these uncertain times, these essential workers are the faces of heroes. My mom is my hero, and today I will be talking to her about what it's like being a nurse on the front lines during the coronavirus pandemic. Hi guys, it's Abby, and this is my mom, Roxanne. So to start, what's it like being a nurse during this time and what all has changed? Well, I absolutely love being a nurse, but this is like by far the most challenging time that I've had in my career. Uh, everything's changed over the past couple months. Uh, every individual in the hospital, whether they're nurses, CNAs, housekeepers, uh, are all wearing masks at all times while we're at work. PPE is a must. Uh, PPE is a personal protective equipment that we wear. Uh, when we're caring for those that are suspected um, of COVID-19 or those that have tested positive for COVID-19, uh, we must completely gear up before we go into a room. That includes uh, mask, goggles, face shield, hair cover, uh, let me think, gown, uh, shoe covers, gloves, um, you know, the whole deal on and off every time we go in and out of the rooms. So what hospital are you currently working at and what departments are you working in and what have you seen firsthand? Well, I work at Witham in Lebanon. Uh, I work in part-time in the CCU, ICU, and I work at PRN in the emergency department. Uh, both departments that I work in um, are still pretty busy for the most part, uh, especially the uh, ICU, CCU, which they've turned into a temporary COVID unit. Then. ACS, which is where they perform all the surgeries, uh, now they're only operating on an emergent basis. Uh, so the employees that uh, work in that department normally are floating to other departments to uh, help them out. Uh, other employees are performing what they call sorter duties at the front and back doors, uh, checking temps, uh, directing people where they go and answering questions since there's no visitors allowed in the hospital right now. First hand care that I've provided at the hospital is um, I have swabbed for uh, people suspected of having COVID-19 and I've also cared for patients in the CCU, ICU that have been uh, COVID-19 positive. Um, you also teach at Marion as a nursing instructor and how has that been affected? Uh, it's been affected much like your learning has. We are doing e-learning also. Uh, I have a weekly Zoom meeting with my students. We talk about uh, assignments, uh, care plans, trying to get critical thinking skills until we can get them back in the hospital for their clinicals. Okay, so what precautions do you have to take at home and at work as well? Uh, precautions at work are, like I said before, uh, head to toe, PPE, uh, everything that I previously discussed. At home, um, I try to wash my hands often, uh, hand sanitize if I don't have soap and water available. Um, I normally shower immediately coming home after a shift. Um, and I try to make sure that nobody's eating and drinking after me to, uh, you know, try to not spread any germs. Okay, and then lastly, what is your advice for everyone? My advice is to stay at home, uh, follow social distancing, uh, wash your hands or sanitize your hands if you don't have soap and water available, and uh, sanitize the surfaces in your household as often as you possibly can. Be smart. Okay, well, you heard it from her. Listen to her. She's a nurse. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank Let's you. Let's do a little, a little bump. There we go. Social distancing. Thanks, guys. See you later. Make sure you are thanking anyone you know who's an essential worker during this time, whether they're a grocery store worker or a nurse. Both are just as important, and the sacrifices they're making are crucial to everyone's well-being. Don't take anything for granted. Make sure you are staying home and staying as healthy as you possibly can. Bye guys.